So I'm parked in the exact spot where um, it seemed like my life kind of went downhill five years ago. Um, I'm sitting in the Minnesota Vikings uh, parking lot and that door over there is where I walked out after I got cut, after all the practicing and all the hard work and all the sacrifice um, just to be cut. And I remember walking out of there and sitting in my car really realizing that I don't really know what I want for my life. You know, I was able to go inside the facility and walk around and go on the field and be in the old meeting rooms that are now, you know, weight rooms now. Um, just walking around the place where, you know, my identity was so wrapped into. And then when it was taken away from me um, five years ago, you know, these last five years I've been trying to figure out you know, what it is that I want, because for so long, I've just been going with the wind, trying different things, failing a lot, succeeding in some. But no matter if I was failing or succeeding, there was no weight to it because I didn't know what I wanted with my life, you know. And this morning I woke up and I couldn't really focus on work. And I started to write. And it seemed like all these things started to align um, from these five years where I really recognized you know, what it is that I want for my life. And it's funny because they seem so simple and they are. And sometimes I feel like when things are simple, they don't seem good enough. But I heard this quote from a friend a while ago, and he said that simple isn't easy. When you think about a product like an iPhone or something like that, and how they make the experience to sign up or download an app or to do anything on the phone, it's so simple. And what I've realized is that in order for that experience to be simple, it took trial and error. It took a lot of people to come together to make that experience easy. And I think that with life, you know, you only have yourself and your mind and your heart. And you have to go through things and complicate things and mess up on things just to realize that maybe what you want is just simple. And at least that's what I kind of landed on. Um, and, you know, when I was writing this morning and I realized like, damn, I know what I want now. It also hit me that the past five years, I really didn't know what I wanted and I was just going with the wind, like I said, and it made me think about the person who stuck with me this whole time while an almost 30 year old man had no idea what he wanted to do. You know, I thought about Charlotte. Um, and now that I know these things that I want for my life, I just want to share them with her to see what she thinks. It's funny because I almost feel like I kind of need her approval or permission to do these things, to, to see if they align with our goals and our family. Um, but the truth of the matter is we don't really have any goals for our family. I've never been somebody who had goals. I just always just went for it and went for it and went for it. And that worked in football, but I've learned the past five years that although it is um, some good um, attributes to have as an individual person, it doesn't really work that well for uh, trying to lead a family and also just live a human life. So I just wanna go home after I pick up Quincy and see if Charlotte's working and see if she's uh, open to listen to me to see so she can hear what, I, what it is that I want for my life and to see if it aligns with us and our family. So, yeah. I'm going to go home and do that. All right, Charlotte's working right now, so I can't show her. But this is what I wrote the other morning. And I think what I want to do is just hold the camera and give this to her. And then she can just basically read off what I want for my life. And then we can talk about it and see if it aligns. Uh, if it just aligns, I guess I don't really know. Because we don't have any goals as a family, like I said. So I don't know how long she's going to be working, but I'm going to just wait until... She's done and play with Quincy Mabel. Look at that baby. Oh, look at that.
look at that baby. Quince, 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 Quince. Look at that baby. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna work there. Crazy. Does it feel good to be back at work? <laughs> yes. yes. No? I like being back at work, but it's also a little anxiety inducing because my inbox is crazy. Mm -hmm. And then, like, new emails are coming in, and I don't know what to do with the 1,500 emails that are just sitting there from while I was out, so. It sounds like a lot. All right, I know I kind of just have this camera on you. I'm sorry, I wanted to talk to you about something. I'm going to give you this paper. What is it? So this morning I woke up and I was writing. And, you know, I've been kind of struggling with wanting to know what I want to do with my life. Mm -hmm. And I've just been stressing about it forever. Mm -hmm. And I think God kind of spoke to me this morning in the five years that I've kind of just been trying to figure it out. Uh, I think this morning it all kind of came full circle and it's weird because it's, they're all pretty simple. Okay. Uh, but I just wanted to share them with you to see what you thought of them. So this is what you want to do? Yeah, I think this is what I want for my life and also what I want to do. It's kind of broken up in three categories. Okay. I think it's about like career, relationships and family and community. Okay. Can we read them all on? Sure. Create videos that I'll love to look back on with my family. Coach high school football. Well, oh, let's just start with the first one. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean by that? Like, uh, yeah. You want to create videos that, like, will be fun to look back on with the girls later in life. Yeah. Or for you, too, to look back on. Yeah, because I think, you know, this YouTube channel specifically has always been, like, it started off as, like, just me expressing myself and having fun and it, it kind of turned into this job mm -hmm. and a lot of it kind of got taken away from me because I look at it as a, as a job mm -hmm. and although you know I do you know can make money and I have a following I just want to I just realized that it's really about just me making videos that I like that um, I'm going to love to watch with the kids when we're older uh, well yeah, I guess we're all going to be older because I have home videos that I watch now that I just love and now the videos that we make here are kind of like those videos but on steroids yeah and I think that like if something comes from it it's great but I think the purpose for me is just to make, make videos that I love with you guys mm -hmm. and that is a part of my work but I'm not going to look at it as work anymore even though it kind of is it's not really what I want to be doing when it comes to like my, my life's purpose work you know to me it's just like something that I'm doing okay but it is like it's interesting because the girls already like to watch your old YouTube yeah no it's kind of weird and I don't <laughs> like that they watch I don't like that they like watching the ones as of late because it's just that was a weirdo back then I'm trying to figure it out okay like you're not trying to fit the mold the YouTube mold no I'm not yeah Okay, coach high school football. I feel like that one's very self-explanatory. Yeah, remember I didn't remember I didn't want to play. I didn't want to be around football forever. Yeah, but like we all knew you would come back around. Yeah, so I think that's pretty. I want to be like a defensive backs coach and a defensive coordinator. I have no desire to uh, be a head coach at all. Okay. Be in a practice group or practice slash group where I'm helping men. Yeah, so you know how like all my life I've been like a captain and a leader. I'm the oldest of my siblings. And I feel like I've always had this gift of just leadership. And um, I always knew that my gift was my voice. And I love like helping people. And I want to help, you know, men who's transitioned from sports. I want to help men who like tr are trying to figure out how to transition in life. I don't know exactly what this looks like. You know, I think like being like a life coach or I think about like kind of being like a therapist kind of, but not exactly. Um, so that's what I mean by that. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why do you just have the camera on me? How come you're not turning it around on you? You want to put it on me? Well, I can, but you could hold it up. All right, sure. It's a lot of just sitting on me. <laughs> and okay. just talk to me. All right. Okay. I have a question. I have a follow-up. How about just do this? I have a follow-up question to that. Yeah. Do you see committed as that practice? Yeah, I do. I see committed as...
putting it into like this whole alpha male kind of world and also like like I say I'm committed like good men are good men aren't born they're built and that's like like my life like I've become a good man through like the work that I put in and yeah so committed is a part of that Okay, do you want me to go community or family next? Go family. Okay. Take my family on a few vacations a year and raise our kids in a safe, loving environment we call our home. Yeah, so I think that for a long time I kind of saw my life in this way of wanting things that society said that we should want, like a big house and the car and being able to travel whenever you want. I realized I don't even like traveling like that. I like being home and I think that I never wanted like a big house and stuff like that so to me it's like I want to just raise my family in a place that we call home that feels safe and loving and I think safe and loving is through the work that we do and how we communicate to each other and stuff like that. You did put a few vacations a year. I wanted to go on a few vacations a year just because it's cold here. <laughs> And I think well, going to Hawaii is nice and stuff like that. And like your family lives in Texas and California. Yeah, so vacation means like going to see my mom, going to see my dad. And yeah. <laughs> okay. I want to date my wife for all of my life. Dates, conversation, commitment. Yeah, so I think that we work hard. And remember we had that talk the other day in the car about wanting to date, like how I want to keep dating and stuff. Mm -hmm. I just think that when I think about us always dating and me always dating you it always gives us opportunity to grow and i think just reminding myself that that's what i want for my life that always keeps me motivated to just keep learning more about you as life goes on i like that one i'm sure you do <laughs> okay community i want to be a part of a gospel seeking community where we can grow <laughs> as a family and be challenged as one. I want to sing with them too. <laughs> yeah. That's basically saying like, I'll, I don't know if it's like church, mm -hmm. but I do want to be a part of a community where it's like a gospel community or like some kind of small group that we treat like a church. Cause church wasn't always a building that you just go to. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe we can either build our own community or part, come a part of one where we all kind of seek the same stuff when it comes to our faith and what we want for our family. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me read what it takes. Yeah, I want to read what it takes. All it takes, all this takes. Oh, oh, let me let me put this on you. All it? this takes is money, a plan, execution, seeking, and community. That's all it takes. Which one do you like the most on there? Which word? Um, execution. Really? I definitely thought you were going to say a plan. A plan without execution is just a plan. <laughs> Big fact. So how do you feel about all that? Like after all these whole five years of me kind of been figuring out my life and you kind of just letting me figure it out and you've been holding me down and watching me fail and succeed. How does it feel that I'm kind of at this point and it's pretty simple? You haven't simple. failed. Like, well, failed in my eyes. Fail in your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, good. I just want, do you feel like you have clarity? Oh yeah, 100%. That's good. And I'm excited for you and for our family. And I think, are we going to do a goals together? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. I, I was saying earlier, we don't really have any, we never really had goals as a family. We've kind of just been thugging it. We've just been thugging it out here in them streets. So should we just come up with a plan and go from there? Yeah, we need a plan. See, that's the thing. Okay, well, first we gotta get money, but we still need a plan, so then we know how to execute. Mm -hmm. So, we gotta kind of break them down. Well, and like, I also have to write my goals, right? Yeah. So we gotta break them down and then figure out how to get from from here to here, you know? All right. So I got for you. All right, I love you. Love you too.